Join us as we dive into the extraordinary life of Marvel Cook, a woman who shattered barriers and defied expectations at every turn. Born as the first African-American child in Mankato, Minnesota, Cook's journey from the classrooms of Sidney Pratt Elementary to the bustling streets of Harlem and into the heart of American politics is a tale of resilience, courage, and unrelenting spirit. Her story takes us through the vibrant corridors of journalism, the fervent waves of civil rights activism, and into the complex world of political advocacy. Marvel Cook's life is a powerful testament to the strength of conviction and the transformative impact of one individual's unwavering dedication to justice and equality. Prepare to be captivated by the inspiring story of a Minnesota woman who not only made history, but rewrote its rules. Well, I am Jack. And I'm Kitty. And we're Jack, Jack and, and Kitty. Kitty. And this is Travel with Jack <laughs> and Kitty, where we highlight the best of the Midwest. We explore life in the heartland of America with plenty of laughs, oof does, and feel goods along the way. So join us as we give you a little slice of Minnesota nice on today's episode of Travel with Jack and Kitty. Are you heading for a vacation to the Heartland and is the Midwest on your travel bucket list? Are you a local just looking for fun things to do with the fam? Well, hold on to your lutefisk and get ready to eat some hot dishes. as we say you betcha to what makes the Midwest the best in our series of guidebooks. Look for Iowa's best, Minnesota's best, and Wisconsin's best. Each of these guidebooks feature 365 unique adventures. We take you deep into the heart of the Midwest, revealing hidden treasures and extraordinary wonders. Available now as paperbacks and ebooks on Amazon or wherever books are sold. Visit jackandkitty.com backslash guidebooks for more info. Imagine traveling the world and earning cash when you book flights, hotels, or excursions. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, our friends at Way Away Plus can make that dream come true. It's a membership plan with unbeatable cashback rewards for travelers. Say a member books a hotel and round-trip flight for a weekend through Way Away Plus. You pay for the hotel and for the flight, but after enjoying your trip, you get up to 10% cash back straight to your PayPal account. That means the membership plan can literally pay for itself even on the first trip. Cool, right? And to make the entire travel experience seamless, Way Away Plus offers offers 24-7 support to answer all of your travel-related questions. Listeners of our show get 10% off their first Wayaway Plus membership purchase using promo code Jack and Kitty. Visit wayaway.io and click the Go To Plus button or crown icon on the top of the page. Or just search for Wayaway Plus. Again, the promo code you want to use is Jack and Kitty. Of course, there's a link in the show notes. Speaking of which, let's get on with the show. Aha, Kitty, we're back. Before we get into today's show, I was wondering, why don't journalists ever get lost? I, I don't know. Why don't journalists ever get lost? Because they, because they always follow the leads. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you were cracking yourself up with that one. <laughs> was, okay, well, I mean, that was, it was pretty, pretty good. It was pretty good, wasn't it? And it was pretty topical. It was pretty topical, I mean, we wasn't are, it? We are talking about a pioneering journalist, after all. Well, it's a lot better than the joke I didn't tell. Well, what was the joke that you didn't tell? Kitty, what do you, what do you call a journalist who always works from bed? Oh, no. I don't, I don't know if, where this could be going. I don't know. What do you call a journalist who always works from bed? <laughs> An undercover reporter. <laughs> Kitty, you got to get your mind out of the litter box. That was a clean one. An it, undercover reporter. It was. Get okay. it? Working well, out of bed? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that was good. Okay. okay. Both my jokes were good They today. were both pretty good. But yeah. let's get to the story of Marvel Cook. All right. Guys, she was a trailblazing journalist and activist. Throughout her remarkable career, she often stood out as the sole African-American woman in her field. In a 1988 interview with biographer Kay Mills, Cook recalled her experience at The Compass, a white-owned newspaper where she was the only black person and the only woman. Marvel Jackson Cook was born in 1901, becoming the first African-American baby in Mankato, Minnesota. Her father, Madison Jackson, a son of an Ohio farmer and a graduate of Ohio State University Law School, faced racial barriers in the legal profession and worked as a railroad porter instead. Her mother, Amy Wood Jackson, was a teacher. In 1907, the Jackson family moved to Minneapolis, settling in the Prospect Park neighborhood as its first African-American residence. Marvel remembered public meetings and efforts to make her family leave. Despite this, her parents stood firm and eventually the community accepted Marvel and her family. Jackson was a pioneer from her early days, being the first African-American student at Sidney Pratt Elementary School in Prospect Park, 
with her sisters following as the second and third. In a 1989 interview, Jackson shared, It didn't bother me at all. I'm by nature an outgoing person, and I had a lot of friends. She pursued an English major at the University of Minnesota, graduating in 1925 as one of only five African-American students in her class. However, her university years weren't without challenges. Marvel felt deeply hurt when her childhood best friend, under social pressure, pretended not to recognize her. This experience influenced her decision to leave Minneapolis. In an interview with the Washington Press Club, she declared, I'm not going to live in Minneapolis. I won't stay there. Drawn to Harlem, she remarked, It wasn't South, but it was Black, and I wanted to come to Harlem. Moving there in 1926, she worked as an editorial assistant for W.E.B. Dubois at the NAACP's publication, The Crisis. By 1928, Jackson made history again as the New York Amsterdam News' first female reporter. She was instrumental in organizing the newspaper's first union. Her efforts led to a successful 11-week strike in 1931. Despite being jailed twice for picketing, Jackson remained firm in her beliefs, once stating, The bosses are not necessarily in your corner, even if they are your own color. Jackson's political views also shaped her personal decisions. She called off her engagement to Roy Wilkins, a well-known civil rights activist from Minnesota, citing his comparatively conservative politics. She later married Cecil Cook, an accomplished sprinter and Olympic champion sailor in 1929. Cook's journalistic talents quickly earned her recognition in the mainstream media. She joined The Compass, a white-owned newspaper, as the sole African-American and female reporter. Her impactful undercover work exposed the dire working conditions of New York City's domestic workers. In her notable article, The Bronx Slave Market, Cook vividly describes her experiences, saying, I was a part of the Bronx slave market long enough to experience all the viciousness and indignity of a system which forces women to the streets in search of work. In 1953, Cook left the Compass and became the New York Director of the Council of Arts, Sciences, and Professions. Reflecting on her career in a 1989 interview, she regarded these roles as the happiest times of her life. It was during this period that Cook fully committed to political activism, joining the Communist Party. Her political stance led to her being summoned twice in 1954 to testify before the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Investigations under the scrutiny of Joseph McCarthy. Despite these challenges, Cook's political journey never faltered. She played a significant role as the National Legal Defense Secretary for Angela Davis, a notable figure in 1960s radical movements. Her activism continued unabated, serving as the National Vice Chairman of the American Soviet Friendship Committee from 1990 to 1998. Marvel Cook passed away on November 29, 2000 in Harlem at the remarkable age of 99. In her final years, she remained active, contributing to the New World Review and organizing political events. Cook's legacy in journalism, politics, and civil rights solidifies her as a significant and influential figure in each of these domains. Marvel Cook's journey was not just a series of remarkable achievements in journalism, politics, and civil rights. It was a testament to the enduring power of resilience and courage. Her life story, marked by breaking barriers and challenging norms, resonates as a beacon of inspiration. From the streets of Mankato to the halls of the U.S. Senate, Cook navigated her path with unyielding determination and a deep commitment to justice. Her legacy transcends time, reminding us that one person's voice can echo through generations, inspiring change and fostering hope. Marvel Cook's life was a vivid tapestry woven with the threads of bravery, activism, and an unwavering belief in equality. So as we reflect on her remarkable 99 years, we are reminded of the indomitable spirit that lies within each of us, the potential to make a difference in our world. Marvel Cook's story is not just a chapter in Minnesota history, it's a guiding light for future generations, illuminating the path towards a more just and equitable society. love Marvel Cook. She's such an inspiration to me. Kitty, of all the Marvel superheroes I know, Marvel is my favorite. (laughs) (laughs) Well, guys, before we go, if you enjoyed listening to today's show, you might get a kick out of our sister podcast. It's called Jack and Kitty's Feel Good Stories. Episodes are about 10 minutes long, and we love sharing heartwarming stories written by Kitty. If you're looking for some inspiration or motivation, happy and cheerful tales, 
maybe even a laugh or two, you'll definitely want to check out that new show. Listen to new episodes of this funny and lighthearted scripted fiction podcast every weekday. Just search Jack and Kitty's Feel Good Stories on your favorite podcast app or visit jackandkitty.com for more info. And as a special thank you for listening to this show today, we've prepared a secret page on our website just for you. Visit jackandkitty.com backslash free to download helpful travel guides, maps to plan your next Midwestern adventure, printables, coloring sheets, even MP3 audios. Oh, and guys, the best part, all of these goodies are totally free for you. It's just our way of thanking you for listening today. Again, that's jackandkitty.com backslash free. If you'd like to talk with other listeners about today's show, join our Facebook group to chat and share your thoughts. Just search for Midwest Travel with Jack and Kitty. <laughs> All of these links can be found in the show notes, along with a blog article with more info about today's episode. Find that at... Jack and Kitty. <laughs> We've not mentioned this We're before. really hammering that home. <laughs> Jackandkitty.com. Uh, finally, a big thank you to all our patrons over on Patreon for their support as well. Now, on behalf of my better half, have a super day. Thanks, guys.